One person was killed and 22 others injured after a shooting near the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade route following the festivities on Wednesday afternoon, officials said. Panicked crowds raced for cover as gunfire erupted west of Union Station at the end of the victory parade, attended by hundreds of thousands of fans. The Kansas City Police Department said that one person died and a total of 22 were wounded by gunfire. Children's Mercy Hospital Kansas City told KSHB that the hospital is treating nine kids who have gunshot wounds. Lisa Lopez Galvin, a mother of two and diehard Chiefs fan, died during surgery at a local hospital after being shot in the abdomen, loved ones told the Kansas City Star. She was the most wonderful, beautiful person, Lisa Lopez, a longtime friend of no relation who works as its newsroom executive administrative assistant, told the newspaper of the beloved local DJ. A KCPD spokesperson would not confirm to the Post whether Lopez Galvin was the slain reveler. Three people were taken into custody, cops said. The shooting is not terror-related, law enforcement sources told the Post. I'm angry at what happened today. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment, Kansas City Police Chief Stacy Graves told reporters at a press conference. Because of bad actors, which were very few, this tragedy occurred even in the presence of uniformed law enforcement officers, she said, noting that there were some 800 cops deployed in the area at the time of the shooting. Video posted on social media shows police officers and military personnel sprinting into the train station shortly after shots were fired. KCPD confirmed no officers were involved in the shooting. One person, possibly a gunman, was chased down and tackled by heroic Chiefs fans before police took them into custody, another video shows. Graves said her department was working to determine whether the person in the video was a person they have in custody. Other clips of the chaos show revelers running for their lives and several injured people being taken out on stretchers. Video obtained by TMZ shows fans' cheers turned to screams when several gunshots rang out, sending people running in all directions. One victim was strewn out on the ground in a pool of blood as people performed chest compressions, the video shows. One man in a red hoodie and red sweatpants at the scene was in police custody. The suspects have not yet been identified. Please join me in prayer for all the victims in this heinous act, Chiefs linebacker Drew Tranquil wrote in a post that was retweeted by quarterback and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Pray that doctors and first responders would have steady hands and that all would experience full healing, Tranquil added. Rick Burkholder, the Chiefs VP of Sports Medicine and Performance, said that he, his wife and head coach Andy Reid's family were all safe and heading on a bus to Arrowhead. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas, who was outside of the station with his wife and mother when the shooting began, said the White House called and offered federal assistance in the shooting investigation. Lucas said he had also spoken with the Kansas City Chiefs, who told him that all of their players and staff had been accounted for. This is absolutely a tragedy, the likes of which we never would have expected in Kansas City and the likes of which we will remember for some time, Lucas said. Missouri Governor Mike Parsons and his wife were also in attendance at the parade at the time of the shooting. Both were unharmed, the governor's office said. Union Station, a 109-year-old Bose Arts building that once served as a major U.S. rail hub for passenger and freight traffic, is home to a museum and visiting attractions today and a terminal for Amtrak passenger service. Its website describes its vision to be Kansas City's iconic symbol of inclusion, inspiration, lifelong learning, and its center for civic celebration. NFL video from the Super Bowl celebration showed Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey on stage with quarterback Patrick Mahomes and other teammates, but Kelsey's pop superstar girlfriend, Taylor Swift, was back on tour in Australia at the time. I am heartbroken over the tragedy that took place today. My heart is with all who came out to celebrate with us and have been affected. KC, you mean the world to me, Kelsey tweeted.